What's going on guys? T-Mart here. Welcome back to another episode of Grand Theft Auto 4. Here we go boys. We are back in good old rainy NYC and today we are going to be checking out what Playboy X has in store for us. Here we go boys. Oops. That's not his door. I'm going to go right here. The Holland Play. What's up, money? Hey, man, business is tough. Now, I ain't a cold person. Well, I mean, I am cold, but motherfucker. What are you talking about? You want a drink? Uh, man, have a seat, man. All right. Now, I got into this dope game because it was the only thing that was open to me. Man. The only thing, man. Hey, I am not judging. No. Listen, now I paid my dues. Now I learned in a hard school, man. And I changed stuff. You know me. I do this stuff so I got a chance to do some good in this town. So you say. So I say. So I do. When I get the money, man, I will build parks. I will sponsor kids. I will save lives. But I gotta have the money, man. Is all this? All oh, this, it means nothing if you ain't got the heart, Nico. Amen, brother. <laughs> I mean, fuck, man. Fuck! The thing is, you know, Jesus, he did some crazy shit, too. I mean, what? everyone does. He killed people. He killed that John the Baptist cat. He did what he had to. I don't think you're correct about that. Man, the point is, man, history is a long time. And you only got one chance. And Dwayne? Man, Dwayne, it's like he thinks it's 1992, and the best that you could hope for is a gold chain and a pager. You know, he looks at me like he wants me dead. Now, I took care of business. I gave him money, but because I won't bow down to him and treat him like he the almighty, motherfucker wants to pop me. Dwayne is a little troubled. He was in prison a long time. Maybe you guys should talk. No, I tried talking. No, I... I, I tried giving him half of the business. I tried everything a man could reasonably try and still call himself a man. <laughs> so what you gonna do? Kill him? Hey, I didn't say that. Man, you cold. <laughs> I was joking. But what else is there? I mean, Cash been talking. Now I hear things. Said you and me was too tight now. Said you disrespected. Called him mad. He's going crazy. I mean, he's gone. Prison does that. Well, you can't kill him. No, no but you can. But you can. <laughs> I called it, boys. I knew that was but coming. I don't want to. Well, neither do I, man. But if he goes insane, we all dead anyway. I mean, Dwayne is a killer. Uh, I don't like this conversation. Do you think that I do? But it's kill or be killed out there. You got a lunatic after you? Man, you dumb. <laughs> now, I will give you a lot of money. Because see me? Now, I ain't scared of no one. But a motherfucker says he's gonna kill me, the motherfucker's gonna die. Oh. Man, I'm not sure. I got to think about it. Well, I hope you see some sense. I will be in touch. Uh-oh. Damn, dude, we're gonna have to kill Dwayne. We've been hanging out with him, helping him out, like, chilling with him. I feel kind of bad. All right. Well, Playboy's gonna be in touch. Where are we gonna be going next? Let's check out our map. Looks like, uh, not the Cluck and Bell. Not that. United Liberty Paper. Let's go do it. Here we go, boys. Damn, that's gonna be rough. I'm gonna kill Dwayne. That's no good, man. I guess you gotta do what you gotta do, right? Dude, you know what we should do, actually? I, I think we might take a little bit of a side, side mission here. We aren't just gonna go straight on to the next mission. I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna head to this internet cafe we're gonna set up a date with a new chick. Since our old girl kind of left us hanging, 
ended up two-timing us and working for the feds. We're going to hop on the online dating site and we're going to find, uh, find some love. So here we go. Go to the web. Ooh, check our mail. <laughs> Just got this webcam and I can't help stripping for you. Babesovernight.com. Whoa, what? Having a baby is as easy as logging onto the internet. All right. Anyway, let's go to our uh, our love meet. We're gonna pick out one of these girls. Uh, select your fancy. We're gonna go with female. Sobo ho, mittens, misunderstood, go getter, from Russia without love, undercover lover, law chick, Jenna fun, and licking go <laughs> licking good. What? Hard work and hard play. She knows she wants to know how to get it in the workplace and the bedroom. Oh, she sounds like a good one. What about law chick, dude? Green energy movement, right to the needy. Commitment, love, organic food. No, F that. Um, undercover lover. Whoa! When guys from the FIB promise you something, it'll be just like being sexy and vibe with a spy movie with tons of other guys when I hook up with you and then it turns out that it blows. She used to enjoy blank and blank, but now since I moved to blank, they don't have any blank and I mostly have to blank, blank, blank with my blank. So if that sounds good, you can get in touch. A witness protection program. She seems like the most interesting. So we're going to click date there. Now we're gonna have mail or how does that work? We're gonna click, we might as well click, click date on a bunch of them. So we click date on her. We can also go, who's the other one that we like? That one. She's got kind of a questionable haircut, but that's all right. Ooh, go get her. She looks cute. Hot cars, hot bar. Dude, I like it when Ed's turn and your wallet comes out. She's uh, high maintenance, but she looks like she's hot. All right. Looks good to me. All right, so we set up a few dates. I guess they're going to have to wait. We, we'll wait until they email us back or call us or something like that. I don't know. I've never done that before, so. Now we're going to head out to our actual mission. So hopefully in the next episode or two, we'll be able to, uh, to go on some blind dates. That'll be a good thing. I can't wait to meet that witness protection lady. It's going to be interesting. On my way, baby. White collar suits, boys. Gonna be doing that uh, official gangster. Here we are. Dust off. Come in. You're late, and please calm down out there. Excuse me? I didn't give you a free pass to act like an asshole. You're bringing a lot of heat. Hang out with bad people, doing bad things, making idiot moves. I'm an idiot. I move. True. <laughs> but the last thing I need is you getting caught. Why? Because I lead them to you in some plea bargain thing? To me? Who am I? There's a hundred guys in this building alone who fit my description. Middle-aged men, paunchy, glasses. You bring them here? What's this? Empty office? Leased to a man who died in the last days of Vietnam? Ooh. Call me up. Huh. My number never existed. No, I'm not too worried about that. I mean, I think you'll end up on a flight deck. 
but that's your business. Then what? Because you're good. Because I need you to keep being good. And you're getting distracted. Oh. Oh. Funny. Oh. Yeah, good. I need someone neutralized. Guy is moving a lot of money for terrorists. Whatever. It doesn't really matter. The guy's gotta go. But I need to know his movements first. How? I've got something that's going to help you. Head over to Albany Avenue in Lansing and give me a call. Go. Uh oh. Can I get paid for this? Can I get a medal? Did you get a medal in your last war? Or what did you give Michelle? For me. Michelle? Karen? We gave her a life back. We didn't play too rough. We gave her some money. She still works for us. What about me? We'll discuss that later. Is that undercover person? Dude, is that Mich That might be Michelle, dude. I think that might be Michelle on the dating site. That undercover lover. Oh my god. I, I thought that at first, but I wasn't sure. But then now they're saying that they gave her her life back and gave her some money and stuff. I bet you that's Michelle. So we're going to be able to reunite. And it's not like she ever did it like out of like spite or, or out of like being rude to us. Like I think she still cared about us. She just had to do what she had to do. So I kind of respect that. We'll be able to get our old girl back. I have to wait till this cop goes away, and then we're gonna take this this cabbie. What is Whoa. this shit? My car. Hold on, buddy. I'm waiting for the cop to leave. I ain't jumping out no moving car. Nice. That worked out well. All right, so now we get a fresh car. It's a little bit faster. We're gonna be hunting down a chopper, hopping in that chopper, and then flying no, somewhere. We haven't flown a, a, a any type of air vehicle in this game yet. Helicopter, pilot, or a, a plane, or anything like that. All right, so there's the chopper. <laughs> Helicopter's leaving. Track it to its destination. Why is it going under the bridge? What kind of chopper does that? Are you serious? Hold B while in a vehicle to focus on the chopper, all right? Look where you're going as you turn into my lane. Get your ass out of here. Thing is flying off low within city limits. Oh shit, I think we just took a wrong turn. No, we're alright. We aight. We alright, we're still behind him. Probably could have gone on the up upside back there, but that's okay. Business boys, it's starting to get a little bit further away, but that's all right. Sometimes ish happens. Shoot, what are we supposed to do here? Let the helicopter land, then move in and take it. Oh, okay, so we gotta go back in this uh, parking lot. Make it through here. Alright, 
Now it's time to take the helicopter. What is this guy doing here? That's how you take care of the first guy. And that's how you take care of the second guy. <laughs> that was so funny. They aren't going to crawl back up behind us, are they? I hope not. Let's get our sniper out. Damn, that was crazy. Damn it, dude, are you kidding me? Where did that guy come from? And I tried to switch weapons and still had my sniper in my hand. It didn't actually switch to where I wanted it to be. Damn it! <laughs> All right, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Hopefully that goes a little bit better for us.